Juice. North Korea says seven missile launches, including two Sunday, were drills of its tactical nuclear operation units. Training to wipe out U.S. and South Korean targets. Pyongyang is upset over recent U.S.-South Korean live-fire exercises in the region. Meanwhile, explosions rocked multiple Ukrainian cities today, including the capital of Kiev, where in just one strike, at least eight people were killed and 24 were injured. The attack was Russian President Vladimir Putin's response to the Saturday explosion on the huge bridge connecting Russia to its annexed territory of Crimea. The attack believed to be the work of Ukraine. President Zelensky told his nation Russia is trying to wipe us off the face of the earth. This as there are growing fears Putin might use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Joe Biden recently warned that the risk of nuclear Armageddon is the highest it's been since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Trump is once again in the news, and this time for calling Joe Biden's approach to the Ukraine war stupid. Trump called for peace and negotiation to put an end to what he calls a threat of World War III. And now we have a war between Russia and Ukraine with potentially hundreds of thousands of people dying. We must demand immediate negotiation of a peaceful end to the war in Ukraine, or we will end up in World War III, and there will never be a war like this. We will never have had a war like this, and that's all because of stupid people that don't have a clue, and it's also because of the kind of weaponry that's available today. You, we never had weapons like this, the destructive capability of weapons, modern weapons. I know more about it than anybody because of... The fact that I rebuilt our military. Trump made the comments while addressing a rally in Arizona. But this is not the first time that Trump has spoken about a possible threat of another world war. Over the weekend, while speaking to a U.S. broadcaster, he claimed that Biden was saying the wrong things to Russia, referring to the prospect of Armageddon. Remark made by the U.S. president earlier this week, Biden warned that Russian President Vladimir Putin is not joking in his recent threats to use nuclear weapons as Moscow's forces struggle in the fight against Ukraine. U.S. officials later issued a clarification and said there are no signs that Russia is preparing for an imminent nuclear attack. They also reiterated that America's military has not changed its nuclear posture. The world is on the brink of war. Third World War. <laughs> Is it? And, um, it would behoove you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, to return back to your Heavenly Father because He is about to send His only begotten Son back. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. And double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Who watch over our souls, Shalom, to Yakim worldwide, that are sincere and seriously doing your will. Of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. <coughs> Second Peter chapter one verse one and two. To you all, this is the book of Revelation, chapter eleven, and verse fourteen. The second war is past, and behold, the third war cometh quickly. You had two world wars, right? And the third world war is coming quickly. You understand? Comments from the U.S. president suggesting Russian threats to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine have put the world on the brink of Armageddon. Joe Biden's remarks were made behind closed doors last night and serve as a dire warning. The Russia-Ukraine war could quickly trigger a much wider conflict. Our Washington Bureau Chief Jackson Prosco joins us now. Jackson, what exactly did Biden say? 
Farah, the American president made it clear he does not think Vladimir Putin is joking with threats to use nuclear, biological, or chemical weapons in Ukraine because, in Joe Biden's words, Russia's military is, quote, significantly underperforming. Biden told the crowd at a private fundraiser in New York, we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. The concern, of course, is that an increasingly desperate Russia may deploy a tactical nuclear weapon in Ukraine, something to counter the staggering losses Russian forces have faced. Biden told the crowd, I don't think there is any such thing as the ability to easily use a tactical nuclear weapon and not end up with Armageddon. Today, the White House is trying to calm concerns, suggesting there's no change in U.S. nuclear posture and no new intelligence suggesting Russia is prepared to launch a nuclear weapon. Still, the concern is that a cornered Vladimir Putin may act in unpredictable ways. In fact, the Washington Post reports that U.S. intelligence now believes Putin has recently been confronted by someone in his own inner circle in an apparent disagreement over Putin's handling of the war in Ukraine. The criticism was considered significant enough that it was included in President Biden's daily intelligence briefing. Farah, it all suggests there's potentially significant turmoil within the Kremlin, and that only bolsters those fears that Russia, under Putin, may resort to unpredictable actions. This is um, the kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. Revelation 16, 15, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth, that keepeth his garments, and see what naked, and they see his shame. Talking about the Lord's men, right? We got to keep on watching and keeping our garments, which is this truth, right? They see what naked, and they see his shame, right? Because if we follow this truth, you know, um, we become an embarrassment, it's right? It is the point, verse 16, and he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Armageddon, right? Strong's G, 717, Armageddon. Armageddon. Armageddon, man. Armageddon. Armageddon, right? And it reads, um, uh, it's supposed to be in the mountain of troops, right? That's where um, the war will take place, right? McBride has more details from Seoul. The North Koreans have said very little. ...weapons, which North Korea says its latest missile launches were to test its tactical nuclear weapons, which it said were to wipe out US and South Korean targets. Kim Jong-un also acknowledged plans to conduct more of the tests. Kim said the launches were in response to joint naval drills between the US and South Korea. Rob McBride has more details from Seoul. The North Koreans have said very little about this flurry of uh, miss ballistic missile activity that's gone on pretty uh, much un un unchecked for two weeks, continual um, launching of these missiles, the last week of September, the first week of October. Uh, and then today, Monday, the official North Korean news agency comes out to, with almost a pronouncement, a long declaration of exactly what it's been doing, the dates of the tests, the types of missiles being launched uh, and tested with photographs showing Kim Jong-un, uh, the North Korean leader, overseeing all uh, of these tests. And basically the headline to come away from this is that the North Koreans say that all that they have been doing is uh, carrying out what they call tactical nuclear drills. This is the supposed development of a smaller tactical 
tactical nuclear devices. Now, these are the, the kind of miniaturized nuclear warheads that you would put onto a rocket or a short-range ballistic uh, missile. It, it does it require an awful lot of uh, a technical advancement of uh, technology and technological know-how in order to do this. And it's unclear just how advanced the North Koreans are in developing tactical nuclear warheads. But certainly they are working on the delivery systems for these types uh, of, of warheads. Uh, they've also, uh, as well as carrying out uh, shorter range ballistic missiles, probably the most serious development over the past couple of weeks was last, uh, last week on October the 4th, they launched an intermediate range ballistic missile right over the top uh, of Japan that landed in the uh, Pacific Ocean. That caused obvious alarm from uh, all of uh, North Korea's neighbours. It's the first time they've carried out such a launch like that in five years. And uh, the North Koreans say that that is a new type uh, of missile. They also say that they have been practicing and developing the technology to have um, uh, to have explosions in the air above the ground. Now that's the kind of delivery that you would use if you were launching a nuclear device. So, you know, in our time, you know, in the time of famine, pestilences, uh, and war, you see? You know, and um, you know, I prophesy these things will happen, right? See, Matthew, um, you know, I can't remember because the word Armageddon just a cry for it again. Um, in the place where the kings opposing quote unquote Christ were to be destroyed, right? So that's even um, Middle East. All the armies getting over there. You know, they're going to be drawn over there. They're going to fight one another. But then the return of the Lord, he's going to come in the midst. And then they're going to turn to fight the Lord. You know what I mean? You can read that in 2nd Ezra 13. You see? Uh, but let me get this preset. This is Saint Matthew twenty four and six. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So we seeing it, we hearing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So it, it, all these things must happen, man. <laughs> If any of you are back in the middle of what they are going up there, and that happened, you'd be freaking out. You see, you American women, you got some liberty, boy, but uh, the Lord's going to strip you of that liberty. You think this woman here got a haughty spirit? The home owner got haughty spirits there in America after missing her flavor she had? You think she got a haughty spirit? tested two more ballistic missiles which fell outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. This was the seventh time in two weeks that North Korea has tested its missiles but these recent missiles carried something different and far more concerning. I'm Shivan Channa. Let's get to the point. As per reports, the latest missiles fired by North Korea were designed to carry tactical nuclear weapons. The missiles were loaded with dummy versions of miniaturized nuclear warheads. South Korea's military bases, ports and airports are on the North's hit list. US is concerned about its military base in Guam as the North has already shown that it can bomb Guam when it wants. Japan is already feeling the heat with the ongoing drills.
But are these even military drills? Or is it fair to just call it an around the corner shootout which may soon go nuclear? Last. Gerald Tree verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Make up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. So we in a war time, boy. All these war veterans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ready for war. Right? Beat your plowshares into swords. And your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. So, yeah, gather all your instruments of war, not instruments um, for farming, instruments for war, right? Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves on the boat, thither, cause the mighty ones to come down over your hour. Let the heathen be weak, weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which in the Hebrew is Jehovah Shaphat. Which means Yahweh's judgment. For there will they sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full. For their wick, the fast overflow, for their wickedness is great. Mother choose, mother choose in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So, I mean, um, <laughs> uh, verse 22, verse 3, A prudent man perceives the evil and hide it himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And it's plain to see. And then we read the book of Habakkuk 2. Week, North Korea tested two more ballistic... Habakkuk 2 says what? Uh, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower I watch right I watch the chiefs to see what he will say unto me right um, so it's clear to see that we in that time um <laughs> It's great to see um, the deal law will come like a thief. I think there's another video here. I think it's shot shot. You know, when we get this last preset here, while well, it's here playing. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Jumping down. Ecclesiastes 3 I hear a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war 
and a time of peace. And we in a time of war. And if you can't see it, well then the Lord has truly blinded you.